All right, so here is another Kenwood TS520. This is the 10 through 80 meter HF transceiver. This one's completely solid state except for the tube finals, which they kind of uh, called the hybrid rig because of that. But anyway, it does have a pair of, uh, boy, I believe they're like, oh, I don't want to say what they are. <laughs> uh, they're, I'm not sure the final tubes. I've forgotten now. Uh, I do know the 12BY7, a is the driver tube along with the two final tubes but other than that the rest of it is completely solid state the receive section of course everything else uh, this one has been tuned up and into a dummy load I went ahead to uh, tune it up on 80 meters here as you can see there and I have the uh, this is the heater switch this turns on the uh, the uh, output tubes puts voltage to the uh, output tubes there and here's your send and receive switch which we'll go ahead and go there as you can see it has uh, output power according to the meter so real quickly into a dummy load up here as you can see I have it in the 500 watt setting so we'll look for the 100 watt mark there and it's right at 100 watts on output this is on the 80 meter band I'm going to do some tests on the other bands as well radio has been sitting for some time uh, these are an older transceiver I'm not sure if they were made in the 70s, but probably in the very early 80s is what I'm guessing on the TS520. Not exactly sure of the history. I do know they've been around an awfully long time. It's a fairly full-featured radio. has a lot of different uh, um, options. Uh, I'm not going to get into all of them real quickly, though. Uh, just show you the controls that are here. I already showed you the send switch and the heater switch. This is Vox, noise blanker. This is for the AGC. Uh, fast and slow there for the S meter of course here's your VFO uh, knob and dial um, this is your mode select here you've got the tune control uh, if you want to go into tune there's CW mode which we have it in now upper lower sideband it has the uh, JJYWWV button you simply press that and uh, you've got that it's pretty nice actually um, this is for, I believe, like fixed channel operation. So if you have, I believe that's what that's all about, for different channels, you can put crystals in this radio and you put it in the fixed position down here. I believe that's how that works. And then you can operate uh, these in conjunction with that. Here's your uh, uh, meter control. Interesting. <laughs> well, in any case, oh yeah, meter switch. There we go. For uh, high voltage, RF, IP, ALC. Here's your load, plate, and drive controls here. Uh, this is your mic and uh, carrier uh, control. And I believe, oh yeah, uh, DX pull on. So that would be like a processor, I believe. Here's your band select. And here's your function uh, control for the VFO. If you've got a remote VFO, you simply just pop it over to there. We do not have the remote VFO. So leaving it there, band select. Uh, here's your RIT, so if you press this, then you've got the RIT control here that comes into play. And you saw the little light light up over there for the RIT when it comes on. And here's your power on and off. Volume and AF gain, RF gain control. So that's, that's all the controls. And um, this one's in pretty clean condition. It's been sitting, again, for some time. Probably could use some deoxid on the controls, but it does have near full output. And it receives nicely. The Kenwood Model TS 520 10 through 80 meter HF transceiver.